Did a lost Roman legion wind up in Lijian, northwest China? We're talking about the area close to Mongolia. If you go two videos back, we talk about Genghis Khan, and there was a record of him having red hair and green eyes. Now we know that uh, even uh, the uh, soldiers of Alexander the Great got up to that area, let alone the Roman legions that were lost there. But Alexander the Great and his army, Alexander the Great had red hair and blue eyes, and uh, a lot of the Macedonians, of course, northern Greeks, did have blonde hair and blue eyes. Now, you can see the little girl here on the lower right hand, uh, left hand uh, corner is totally blonde. And the father is on the uh, 11 o'clock position. The uh, first two look totally European. So, the lost foreign legion, the lost Roman legion in northwest China. In 1957, Homer H. Dubbs, the author of A Roman City in China, let's remember that, oh, yes, also, uh, there is an ancient Greek open-air theater found in China, which is in excellent condition, very well preserved, and obviously that was built by Greeks. Now, in 1957, Homer Dubbs, the author of A Roman City in China, made a controversial proposal about the lost Roman legion of Marcus Crassus. He believed that around 50 BC, the soldiers ended up as prisoners of war, and eventually they became mercenary soldiers for the Han Chinese, who gave the Romans land in the Gansu province. And there, the Romans founded a city called Lejian, also Lejian, Lejian, it looks, sounds like legion, obviously, the word that the Chinese used for legion. Some of the people who live in Lejian, today's Zelejian, have Caucasian features. Consequently, Dubs believe that the residents of Zelejian may be the descendants of the lost Roman legion in China. Now, Marcus Crassus and his legion of Roman soldiers and there's more pictures here of blonde Chinese looking with blue eyes and red haired with uh, green eyes. Now Marcus Crassus and his legion of Roman soldiers in 53 BC, a humiliating defeat for the Roman army set off a chain of events and consequently this may have led to the furthest eastward expansion of the Roman Empire's military and cultural influence. The defeat took place at the Battle of Kara, located in eastern Turkey, where the, Roman, the Romans fought against 10,000 Parthian archers against seven Roman legions led by Marcus Licinus Crassus. What is a Roman dodecahedron? Prior to this battle, Crassus had amassed a degree of fame after he defeated Spartacus's rebellion in 71 BC. However, his success would not last and despite his prior conquest, many people questioned his military leadership. The leader's inexperience became apparent the day he led 45,000 soldiers into battle against the very prepared and mobile Parthian cavalry in Kara, now known today as Haran, Turkey. And by nightfall, the battle was all over. The Parthians beheaded Crassus' son, and uh, did away with 20,000 Roman soldiers. While the two sides were negotiating an end to the fight, the Parthians captured Crassus, and um, approximately 15,000 Roman soldiers managed to escape, though, but 10,000 others became prisoners. So what happened to the lost Roman legion? The fate of the 10,000 captured legionnaires remain a mystery. They became known as the lost Roman legion. In 20 BC, under Caesar Augustus, negotiations regarding the return of these soldiers only compounded the mystery. The Parthians stated that there were no prisoners to repatriate. However, Paul Brummel, the author of Turkmenistan, says that the Parthians moved many prisoners from the Battle of Kira west eastward to Turkmenistan, where they used the fighters against invasions. Legion, Legion, Chinese records indicate that in 36 BC, 
at the Battle of Zizi, the Han captured the Xianggu, led by Zizi Chanjiu in Central Asia, in a place known today as Zambul, Uzbekistan, in 36 BC. Chen Tang, one of the Han generals who fought the Xiongnu, recorded fighting soldiers who used the Yu Lin Zhen fish scale formation. This tactic of tightly squared units utilized shields for the first time row to cover their body. The, uh, that's, you know, the turtle formation uh, from the Greeks. Now, the following rows covered their heads, and however, the Roman legions used this strategy throughout the empire and called it the tortoise shell. Charles Hucker proposed that the Roman legionnaires may have been amongst the Xiongnu soldiers and followed, following the Battle of Zizi, the Han possibly captured over a thousand prisoners. Emperor Yuan Di established a new country called Lijian, which according to Hucker is a name that reflects the Roman legion. The theory of Lijian, Lijian, as the story goes, the Han victors were highly impressed by the skills of these soldiers. Therefore, they moved them further east to the new outpost of Lijian in the Gansu province. And from there, the mercenary soldiers helped the Han Chinese defeat against the Tibetan raids. A map of China's Han Empire available during the same period show a country named Lijian, and according to Fan Ye's 5th century Hu Han Shu, Lijian was what the Chinese called the Roman Empire. Archaeological findings. Archaeologists now believe Lijian became present-day Zhejiang in China. Excavations in Lijian uh, unearthed a trunk with stakes, which the Roman commonly used to build fortifications. Additionally, they found Roman coins and pottery. Evidence shows that the people of Zhejiang had lined the ancient streets with tree trunks. This was a uniquely Roman practice. Also, at least one Roman helmet with Chinese lettering puzzled researchers as a strange passion exits for bulls, exists for bulls. However, neighboring cities do not. Arguments against the lost Roman legion, the fish scale formation was known to China, which had been used in the strategy during the first millennium BC. Indo-Europeans had spread into Central Asia well before the Roman uh, Imperial Roman period. We know that from uh, Alexander the Great. Celtic mercenary soldiers fought in Central Asia and in Asia and Turkey, Judea, Syria, and against the Seleucid Empire pre-imperial Rome. DNA tests in Lejian. In 2005, DNA analysis of residents of Zilejian indicate that approximately 56% have genetic sequences similar to Europeans. However, the analysis did not determine that they derived from southern Europe, as experts would expect, if they originated in Italy. On the contrary, their DNA was similar to that of the Uyghurs of the Zhejiang province of western China, who possessed northern European ancestry. Well, we know that the Roman legions had people from all over their empire, which was stretched all over the place. Northern Africa, Greece, Europe, Northern Europe. Now, another study, a study from 2007, determined that according to paternal Y uh, chromosome lineage DNA, the people of Legian are not descendants of Romans. Instead, they are very similar genetically to the Han Chinese with a small amount of Mongolian aspect. Scientists indicated that a complete study of the uh, maternal DNA lineage is necessary to complete the assessment. Although the locals of Lijian have in their mind accepted the idea that they originate from the lost Roman legion in China, it appears that the evidence so far indicates that they do not. So the question arises, why, so, why do so many of them have blue, blonde hair and blue eyes, or red hair and blue eyes, or green eyes? And this is by Jim H. Please leave your, on uh, Historic Mysteries, please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.